Today at Zen Dude Fitness, Brandon carries backpacks and cameras 400 feet. Bro, are you, yo, take it easy, man. You're gonna, you're gonna tire yourself out. No such thing. Brandon, no you know thing. what? You think you're so you hot shit because you're a man and you're like, oh no, I'm just gonna walk like this 400 feet with these bags curling it like a douche. You're gonna run out of energy, man. Ooh, let's go to this tree. <laughs> oh my God. Yay. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> What's up, Zen Dude Nation? What's going on? Guess what? On Tutorial Tuesday, we were like, yo, where's the dopest place that we could do a double under? And we were like, the biggest park on top of the city. Actually, we just stumbled upon this park. But anyway, we're going to teach you how to do a double under. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out our free seven day challenge, guys. We teach not only how to do a double under, but a bunch of other tutorials, and then we give you workouts to do every day. Less than 30 minutes, let me remind you. No gym required. It's awesome. Get in there, check it out. Oh, and it's also free, so like, you can't be like, oh, Dan, it costs money. Like, whatever, it's free. Get in there now. All right, let's, uh, let's do this tutorial. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to start things off, you're like, I know, Dan, you say this is the beginning of every tutorial, but guys, in order for this to be successful, you have to have the same fundamentals as you would for regular bounce. What do I mean by that? That means elbows in, arms bent at 90 degree angles, wrists are controlling everything, and less is always more. There's not a whole lot of movement in my body. And if you'll notice, the only thing I'm doing different than regular bounce is just jumping a little bit higher, which I'll explain here in a sec, but all the fundamentals have to be there, guys. So just remember those and go back to the how to jump rope video if you need some additional help. Now, moving on to number two, the timing of the feet. So, so freaking important for the double under. So guys, what you're doing here, what I'm doing here, is practicing jumping straight up and down and keeping a rhythm. So one, two, three, four. And I'll show you what that looks like with the rope here in a sec, but I would recommend just practicing jumping up and down and you don't want to kick your feet out sometimes people say to do this um, this was something that a lot of people said the dolphin kick was good to do totally inefficient just jump straight up and down guys if you'll notice here I have the rope now look at my rhythm it's one two three four it never ever changes I'm just jumping slightly higher and straight up and down you want to stay in the same place when you're doing the double under, you don't want to be moving all over the place. Remember guys, jump rope, less is more, like I always say. Next up guys, the wrists. The wrists control everything, just like they do with any other movement. Now if you'll notice here, look how above my, my elbow, nothing is moving. If you cut off from below my elbow, you wouldn't even see any movement because everything is controlled with my forearms and wrists. If you control with your shoulders, the rope will get loose and you won't be able to swing it around causing you to catch it on your feet and mess up. So the wrists and forearms control everything guys, which brings me to the next point of course, which is swinging the rope. The biggest mistake that people make, guys, is they try to swing the rope twice, which causes them to swing it too fast and mess up. When in reality, guys, all you're doing, and you'll hear some, you'll hear the sound of it in a sec here, all you're doing is swinging it hard one time and letting the momentum of the rope carry it through a second time. So let's, we'll go through this one more time, but if you notice, one, two, one, two, one, two. So one is hard. And then the second one just allows the rope to come around nice and slow with the momentum we've already built. And you'll see here with the sound in a sec. So listen to that, guys. That one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I'll go into slow motion here. One, two. And then see that big swing? Big swing when you jump, let the second one carry it through. Big swing when you jump, let the second one carry it through. That's the name of the game, guys. A lot of people get confused and messed up with this because they focus too much. Let's just go ahead and listen to this for a sec. Big second one, big second one. See, a lot of people mess this up, guys, because they simply just take it too far and try to do too much at once, when in reality, a successful double under is done with poise and just making sure that you're spinning the rope once and letting the momentum carry it through towards the second time. 
All right, the last thing I would recommend, guys, is if you're a beginner or if you're someone like a CrossFit competitor going for speed, you might want to look into a slightly shorter rope. Now, normally, Brandon and I recommend a rope that a rope cable that's three feet taller than your height. But in this case, you might want to take five inches off of that. And the reason is that increased tension allows you to spin the rope faster and get more double unders in without messing up. And by the way, I did link the rope that I'm using in this tutorial. It's by our boys over at Crossrope. They make amazing high quality products i linked it below go ahead and check them out and if you guys have questions comment below let us know what you're struggling with so we can help you become more of a badass ninja jump rope okay see you on the next zen dude fitness tutorial